Ladies and gentlemen and trolls of the internet, welcome to another video of Magic the Gathering. And this hand kind of is not exactly what I want. Um, this hand is much better. I will keep this hand. Uh, I haven't really used goblins that much in a while, so I feel like using some goblins. Um, you guys know on like the player status screen where it'll show like, you know, you use red this much and you use white this much and you use blue this much and whatever. You know, it used to be all red because all I had was goblins. And then there was a little bit of some other stuff, but now white, red, and black are all pretty even. Um, because I've been using a lot of Lilianas and a lot of Peacekeepers. So, let's see what Goblins can do. See if it's still even good. Oh boy, playing against Liliana. That's a bad matchup for me. So now I know I need to get there ASAP. Um, which means next turn I'm probably going to Bushwhack her. <laughs> Watch him cast Innocent Blood just to piss me off. Oh, good. Let me get that extra damage in, then. I was about to say, maybe he's got it. It's probably Crippling Blight, unless he has Hold Priority on, which most people don't have. But it was forcing him to think because he wanted to cast something. So it's one of those, either Innocent Blood or Crippling Blight. My guess is the Blight. Oh, one of my favorite songs just turned on iTunes. There's the crippling blight. Predicted times ten. That's all right. It allowed me to get what three points of damage in that turn, which I needed. I needed to do something, especially because I have no turn three play, which is very weak. It's tremendously unfortunate. Um, I'll be able to shock his Necrotal in the meantime. Oh boy, a Fume Spitter. Because he's pro oh, he's not going to be able to cast that yet. Yeah, he's going to have three mana. So he won't have anything just yet, but I'll still need to shock his Necrotal. Um, let's see what's he going to do. He's probably going to sit on a Murder. Nothing I can do about that. I might have to have Krenko just straight up attack, actually. Hell, I might need to save the shock to throw it in his face instead if I can get him down low enough. Because if he doesn't have... I'm going to assume he's got a murder. But if he doesn't, that'll be five points next turn to put him at six. Necrotal will kill one of them. Oh, a Spectre. Interesting. Um... Man, I need the land so I can cast these guys. I need the shock, because I need it. I think I might actually get rid of Krenko. That's very interesting. Yeah, I think I think I need to get rid of Krenko, which is crazy, because he's potentially the best creature in the deck. Well, there's my land I drew. I didn't want to take that risk, though. I needed to come in for an attack. And because I know he has that Necrotal in his hand, I do not want to... Actually, it doesn't matter what I do. Um, he's just going to straight up block that guy. Yeah, so now I don't know if it's better for me to sacrifice. Because his Necrotal is going to wipe my board anyway. So I need to get that damage in there, I think. Even if it's going to cause him to keep that creature I don't know but that's the play I'm gonna make I'm gonna give that a shot I need to get as much damage in as, as possible put him down to six his Necrotal is gonna kill my dude and I'm gonna be in deep trouble but there's nothing I can really have done about it anyway so wow he's not gonna play oh he's mana screwed look at that he can't play Necrotal. And he's spending his time attacking. I mean, he can still block, so you know he's not going to lose out on that. Um, God, if I draw a Goblin, it'd probably be worth shocking that thing. A Pile Driver. Hmm. Do I want to shock his Fumes? I need, I need the shock for Necrotal. I just do. Actually, if I... 
If I swing in, sacrifice this, he'll be a 5-5 five, five trample. And shock will actually make it 7 points of damage. So I think I can actually just kill him this turn. I think is what I can do. Because he's going to block. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sacrifice the pile driver, make him a 5-5 five, five trample. 4 points will get through. And then I can shock in the face. Sweet! Sweet, 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 sweet. Goblins edging out a close victory against its potent... No, I think red's its worst matchup, but that's... Alright, let's go to a mirror match. Let's see how that wants to work. Dun, 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 That's a bad hand. Um, that's okay. I'll keep that. Alright, what did he switch to? Nothing? Hey, he didn't switch to anything. That means it's a mirror match, which, in my opinion, favors me. Because I base all my decks to beat mirror matches. Poor guy. He thinks he's going to be playing against goblins again. That was a close victory, that's for sure. Discarding Krenko? Unheard of. Unheard of! I still think it was the right play. Especially since I won. <laughs> I don't know. If not, I probably would have got... I don't know. I feel like the land was probably the the true correct play. But I needed to guarantee that I could cast Click Slither. So I, I had to keep it. Him being mana screwed obviously helped, though. I don't really want to overlook that. So this will be interesting. Black versus black matches are usually... Usually a little bit more boring, and it's usually just who runs out of steam first is going to lose. So, you know, usually the person who's down early is going to win late type of deal. So, we'll see. Obliterator, having Obliterator is going to be really nice. Because um, it's going to force him to spend his murders on that. Obviously, Tendrils is a huge swing in my favor. Gaining life in a mirror match is really good. Oh, all right then. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just do nothing next turn. How about that? <laughs> uh, let's hope YouTube doesn't ban this video and delete my account for playing some panic attack in my video game. I just love this song too much. Hey, there we go. I can just crippling blight that. Maybe I could spend a murder. No, I don't want to spend a murder. I'll just crippling blight it. Ah, oh, what do I want to do? I'll play the obliterator. Force him to kill that, I guess. I honestly don't know what the hell I want to do. I feel like I should just kill it while I have the opportunity to kill it easily. Yeah. I'll just kill it while I can kill it with a cheap cost, low thing, before he has chances to, like, pump it up. Um, you know, if he wanted to just leave an extra swamp at all times, I would never be able to kill it without spending something better, like a murder. Um, and the Blights in a mirror match are really only going to be beneficial against Shades, so... That's fine, Bloodhunter Bat. He'll make a four-point swing, but I'm not too concerned about him. Icy Manipulator is good. Um, obviously, I want to play the Obliterator, but I need land. Since I'm not drawing any, I will make sure I get one with a shade of my own. And then I can play it to avoid a Crippling Blight from him. Although it is minus one, minus one. So it won't actually avoid it. It'll just make him think I can avoid it, which is all I really need. All right, he's got six land, so that's not good. He can start dropping the fatties. Um... But obviously I'm sitting on two kill spells. That thing's going to have to go. Um, Icy Manipulator is going to be a huge advantage in the mirror. It's, it's huge in mirror. Like I don't really know how else to say it. Yeah, that thing has to go. i got to murder that. Alright, so let's see here. Um, yeah, I don't really have enough mana to make another play. 
I'll hold on to the tendrils as long as I can so I can gain more life from it. Um, plus, tendrils wouldn't kill it anyway right now, would it? Yeah, it would. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. I, tapping it down with Icy won't help. So I just have to murder it now. I hate using instance as a sorcery, but really got no choice. And now I'll get some damage in there. And I'll just get... I'll get all of it. Leaving one swamp to fake out a crippling... I don't know. I feel like that, that wouldn't work against a good player. So I wouldn't want to try to trick him that way. Just because I, I feel like it's a... I don't know. If I leave one swamp and have him at 19 damage instead, I, I don't know. It's so situational. And what's to say he even has a crippling blade in his hand, you know? All right, that's no big deal. I can just tap that with Icy or something. Um, I still have the Obliterator, which is going to draw out a murder, which will make my fat creatures even safer. I might just have to tap his dumbass down all day. Um, actually, I could just Crippling Blight his own shade. The hell am I talking about? Assuming I still have enough play. Actually, I, yeah, I know I do. Um, I may want to use Meyer's Toll, too. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the Icy. Um, let's see here. Uh, what to do, what to do. I think I'll just take two points of damage using the Blight to kill his creature. He didn't even try to save it for this turn, to even block with it. Um, yeah, I'm going to cast the Toll. Just get rid of the best card in his hand. I think that's worth the two points of damage of not being able to tap his his bat. Because if he's sitting on, like, a Corrupt or something, oh my god. <laughs> or if he's sitting on, like, Grave Titan, you know. Uh, see, one downside to Meyer's Toll is people will be like, hmm, what card do I... I'll show him this card first, that's my worst, and, you know, then I'll show him this, and then I'll show him... You know, it's like, I have so many, you have to show them all to me. But people still try to, you know, figure out what's worth it the most. I'm surprised he doesn't just last kiss that guy. I probably would. Alright, so we have, what, Last Kiss and a Land, I think it was? So, and he just played a Land, so he doesn't, don't know if he just top-decked it, but he still has a Last Kiss in his hand. So he can gain a little bit of life, but um, I feel like this is advantage me all the way. Necrotal, that doesn't help him much. Okay, so now that I know he's got that last kiss, I don't want to pump my shade up all at once because he can kill it in response. So you would want to pump it up just two at a time. So you can pump it up two, he can try and kill it, you can pump it up two more. Um, but I also want to cast the Obliterator. So first I'm going to attack... Oh, there's the last kiss. Okay. So there's the last kiss, and now I'll spend the two pumping it up now. So he doesn't actually accomplish... I mean, he'll gain two life, but big deal. Um, I'll get to play the Obliterator. And then, hell, I'll just tap his creature so I get three points of damage in there. Um, four points, actually. No, just three, yeah. So I'll attack with you. Stop the timer. Tap your thing. I'm going offensive here. Normally I'd rather play defense, but he's got no cards in his hand. I've got the Obliterator. I can gain life, so there's no reason to play defensive right now. What could he possibly... He needs, like, a Mutilate, a Rune Scar Demon would help him, Grizzlebrand would help him. I mean, he needs, he needs to murder this thing anyway. He needs to pop that Fume Spitter now, is what he needs to do before I can activate my Shade, because that's not the same as Crippling. Well, it's a counter, right? Okay, it's still a counter, but I can still get a big fat hit off with it. Well, which he could just block. Which, yeah, he's probably gonna... I wonder if he's gonna try and block Obliterator and then sack to put the counter on the shade. But Obliterator's gonna go through with its trample, you know? Um, what do I want to do? Ugh, I want to cast Grave Titan. 
I think I'll sit, though, just in case he tops like a mutilate. Because I feel okay here. Um... Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? I think I'll just tap his fume spitter. And then we'll see where I can get with these guys. Alright, so he's going to block that. So I'm going to have to pump it up two so I don't die. He can still pop to sack to kill. So there's no need for me to worry about pumping it up more. Plus then I can sit on this tendrils of corruption in my hand. I'm actually surprised he didn't sack the fume spitter immediately. I really am. I don't see what the benefit of holding it was. But I think this game is going to go into my hand. Game is sinking. Lovely. Whenever that happens, the game locks up most of the time. So we'll see. We'll see if it wants to continue or not. Sign in blood. Okay. On yourself. Well, he needs cards, but he can't afford to lose the life. So that's definitely risky. But he needs the cards. So... And oh boy, yeah, that didn't help you, buddy. That did not help you. All right, I'm just gonna kill his bat now, so that way I can get all my creatures through. Um, and there's just gonna be nothing he can do about it. He can still kill my shade. But he'll take five, he'll go down to four. He'll have no creatures and no cards in it. You need to sacrifice it now. Yeah, it's too late now. Because now you lose. That's all, I don't even need to tap it. What the hell? Yeah, he just lost now, so... That's cool. Cool. Good game. Dun, 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 I guess we'll switch to peacekeepers now. That's just how I roll. I always just... I go down the line. <laughs> I always... Yeah, I either start at peacekeepers, then I go down to black, and then go down to goblins, but people usually quit by then. Or something or other. Um, okay. If he's playing black... Uh, I don't know if this is good or not, but I'll I'll stick with it. It's got a couple of the most inc important cards in the deck, so right, so he's still playing black, so that's going to be tough. But this will be a good chance for me to test out cards like Archon of Justice that are there in place of like a Captain's Call, you know, like his ability is better against matchups that are more difficult to win, which I feel gives him the edge even if it's a little bit less powerful overall when compared to, you know, laying it down with stuff like Anthem. So we'll see. A perpetual state of testing out the deck. Alright, um, play the Anthem, which will make my stuff harder to kill, of course. If he wants to try and kill stuff with, like, Crippling Blight. Um, it's not gonna work anymore. Um, or Last Kiss, since I know he has that in his deck somewhere. Um, it'll make Infest that much worse, although not too much, because my 1-1s one will still be 2-2s. Two wow, this has a this guy's got a very interesting deck. He uses the Gorgon. He uses, uh, what else do we see that, I don't know. Um, still can't really do anything. I feel like that's such a weak creature to Fiend Hunter, though. But... I really would rather Fiend Hunter something stronger, but there's just no guarantee that anything stronger is going to come down. So we'll just cast it. 
And at least, since he can kill Fiend Hunter at any time, essentially, with a murder, this way I'll just make sure that if he does kill it, he doesn't get anything too big of a deal back. So... And yeah, it just makes my, my Geist and my Archon that much stronger, I think. <sighs> makes it very tempting to spend a kill spell on this when it's really not worth it. It's really not. What is up with that guy's name? Like, really? Whatever. Oh, a Spectre. That's unfortunate. Um... That actually really hurts. I think I have to get rid of the pledge. Which I don't want to do, but... This isn't the type of match where I think I'm going to really get to use it. And again, just like with the goblin match a little bit ago, I, uh, I need to guarantee that I can cast these guys next turn. I don't want to do nothing. That would be bad, so... It's not like I have an army. I just have fat guys this time. So who knows? I could get it later or, you know, I could figures just like the goblin deck. Um, I'll play the monk first because it demands more presence. And if he does kill Archon, I don't want to just exile a land. That seems bland. I'll attack first, though, because I don't want to be a scrub. Although I did play my land first, so I'm halfway scrub. I'll probably take it, which is fine. Yeah. So I think I'll play the Geist first. It just makes a little bit more presence. Why are you spinning around in circles? Tendrils of Corruption, there we go. Yeah, see, so if that was my Archon of Justice, I would be forced to get rid of a crappy creature or a land, and I just didn't really want to do that. So, and this way, oh, crap, I lose it anyway. That sucks. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Sucks. That sucks a lot. <laughs> now I didn't get to cast it at all. Oh, I wish you would have attacked. That's okay. Uh, well, that's good. Uh, excuse me. That demands removal. And... I guess I'll come in there, because if I don't attack... I accomplish nothing. I'll still get two points of damage in and then potentially more damage the next turn. And then this will be three damage per turn on a clock until he wants to kill it. So of course he's at 19, whereas 18 would be six turns. Um, oh boy, you get rid of my land. Good thing I have enough. Watch me top deck Captain of the Watch now, though. Oh well. Huh. Oh, hey, this guy. What do you know? I'm testing him out, too. I'm only running one, but I'm just running him to test. It's really a, a filler slot in the deck. Um, I feel like I have 59 cards that I'm happy with. And, you know, I wish I could run at 59. But with that extra one slot, I'm just currently using this guy to see how I like him. Because there's been a few times where I've wanted to gain even just two points of life. But, you know, just the guarantee of, you know, are you going to have... In those rare situations, are you going to have this one of or two of? You know, I don't particularly like him, but I've never been able to really cast him before and have a benefit. You know, like, that could be a captain's call. That could be uh, something else. I don't know what. That could be a battle cry creature. But seems to, I don't know, whatever. Not much competition here from this guy, this game. Or really, potentially any of the games. I don't think there was too much competition. I 
I guess getting rid of that Warpath Ghoul was actually worth it. Because I almost didn't want to do it. Oh, I love drawing Squadron Hawk in those instances. I just drew three 2-2 two -two Flyers in one turn. That's awesome. But I'm going to kill him anyway. No, he'll be at one. Go figure. I'll just hold these guys in my hand. Just in case he's got like a mutilate or something. Come on, you block that guy, you pump it up, or you don't pump it up, depending on what you want, or you take it all because you admit defeat. Alrighty. Well, I was hoping these games would have been more entertaining, but uh, I guess they weren't. Yeah, let me try, uh, let me try burn just for the sake of using something else. That's a bad hand. That's a bad hand. That's not a good hand. Oh, double Inferno Titan is scary. But it's a bad hand overall, but I'll just keep it. Oh, did he finally switch decks? I think he actually finally switched. Yep, he just switched. I wonder if he's goblins or if he's red. Because if it's a mirror match, that's bad. Um, that's funny. I guess we'll see. It'll be interesting. Be goblins! Be goblins! Please be goblins! Oh, that sucks. It's not goblins. Well, that just means I need to get to six land, and then I can win. Um, that's right, I'll play a one-point zenith to kill his creature. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to tear me apart. I would like to draw four land in a row, please. Not very often I want that. Chain reaction's gonna suck in this game. Well, chain reaction will be useful enough. Ugh, I'll be able to kill that thing. Land! Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I knew it wasn't a good hand, but... So frustrating. Stupid land draw mechanics in this game. Really, you're going to use it as a sorcery, huh? Okay, whatever. That's fine. No big deal. I don't care. Sorry, bored. <laughs> Yay, I got my manas. Play my phoenixes. I have you searing blaze my phoenixes and make me sad faces. Or you won't searing blaze it. Cool. Because I probably just would have earthquaked you for one to get it back. <laughs> That's right. Ping me again during your turn. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> Flames of the Firebrand. Aww. Oh well. There goes my Phoenix. At least she can come back. Yay! I drew a land! Okay, I can kill that guy with a chain reaction. Or I can use an Earthquake to get my Phoenix back and kill that creature. Um, I want to get my Phoenix back, otherwise I'm going to have nothing to do next turn. The question is, how many points do I want to use Earthquake for? Maybe I should just use Flame Break? I think I should just use the Flame Break then. Earthquake is a bit is a little bit stronger. It's just a matter of if I wanted to use it for one point. I I don't know. Um, but that's all right.
He's stuck on land too, actually. I didn't even notice until just now. He's stuck on land, so that's good. Sweet. More land for me. Yes. I just need one more and I win. Ha! Ha! Surprised there's been a significant lack of burn on his side. Just the one spell. Oh, that guy. Him. Yeah, I can kill him if I draw land, or I can just earthquake him. Or I can just. There we go. Getting all the land I need. Goodbye. Game over. Thanks for playing. Oh well. Oh well. At least this was kind of a fun vid. Got to just see a bunch of different decks all at once, you know? Even if the games weren't the most competitive thing, I think it's just kind of cool just to see decks of each play, or see play of each deck. Um, I suppose, hell, I could use Celestial Light next and see how that wants to go. Um, if I wanted to try and get five for five in here. Maybe I will. I don't know. Yeah, he was mana screwed, but I don't think there's anything you do against double Infernal Titan anyway. So. Yep. Yeah, Alright. No, no Celestial Light attempt then. Oh well, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Oh, Mega Man music! Name this stage. I'm sure Cooper already knows it. Actually, no, Cooper, well, maybe. Cooper's not watching these anyway. Maybe he, no, he does. Whatever. Name the stage. First to do it gets a cookie. And name the game it's from. Ah, both. No Googling, you cheaters. Yeah, see, it's a lot more even now. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, guys, peace.